Hey guys, it's a TC Genie back with a brand new video uh, with my good friend DJ JD. Um, and today we're going to have a bit of a discussion video about the Blaster IQ Sendo with the most useless card in the set, Blaster Blade Exceed. Um, <laughs> well, the, I don't know if you'd call it useless, but it's not good. It's not great. It, it's it's a little bit. It, it hurt my heart a little bit. Um, but for the most part, everything has been filled out. It's just triggers, but the triggers will most likely uh, we have a new Lou, a new Flogel, a new Elaine. Uh, Flogel's this time is a crit trigger, and of course we're gonna get Margul. Can't go wrong with a little bit of Margul. Um, you know, they're, they're all just gonna be vanilla anyway, other than Margul. Oh yeah. So I mean, I, I mean, look, I like the new art. I think it's nice, but yeah, that's oh well. Um, Margul overprinted. Yeah. <laughs> How many reprints is that now? A thousand and three, or? There's just so many. Yeah. Anyways, um, so for the most part, every I'm, I'm, I just want to focus uh, in this video about Blaster Blade Exceed and the Strides. Uh, so if we have a look at Blaster Blade, it's it's look, it's an okay card. Um, it's not a great card though. So it's when it's placed on a Regard or Vanguard, uh, pay the cost if you do retire Grade One or Greater Unit. So that's okay. Uh, you know, not not too bad. Typical Blaster Blade thing. But when it comes to its stride skill, uh, when it's placed on when a G unit with Saver and its card name strides, uh, you may pay the cost if you do search for up to one Blaster Blade with in its name, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Now, um, JD, what do you what do you have to say about that? Well, particularly adding it to your hand, I guess helps towards the Alfred stride, but yeah. Other than that, it doesn't really do much because there's so much in the deck that already searches it out anyway. Yeah, that's why I thought it would be. I think it would be better if really it was a uh, blaster blade or swordsman of light. Uh, I think if I at least did that, that would have been a little bit. A little, I don't know. It would have been nicer as a as a player. You're like, okay, well, I have more options other than just to go into a bunch of blaster blades or whatever. My particular problem with this card, I would have to say, is its retirement ability. Yeah. I don't really hate the first ability. It's just the retirement ability seems a tiny bit redundant, and which makes it seem like it's the secondary grade three of the deck. Look, it is, but like Palamedes isn't great either. But however, from a uh, Blaster Blade Stride uh, Grade Three, I, I knew that there was going to be that retire ability. Like, I knew now, like that. the big question is, the big question is going to be, are we going to get get Blaster Blade Burst or not? Ah, uh, no, I, I think Blaster Blade Burst is it, it's not it's not happening. Uh, maybe one day. Maybe, maybe one day. day. Maybe in the next revival collection. Uh, Oh well, but look, they could have done a few things to, to better it, but oh well. Uh, another really cool card I think is Assault. Um, I think Assault, it can be a really strong card, but it can be a bit of an annoying card. Uh, so say you go up against Kaigero or Narukami or any of those, or any of those types of clans, uh, this becomes a very weak G Guardian. Yeah. Less dependent with Narakami, because Narakami doesn't retire as much. No, yeah, no. As it's a little bit more precise on how you retire. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as much, but yeah. I mean, you, you, you've seen the, the memes, yeah, the, the Dungaree memes. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, but the, plus people with a revival collection, like, they picked up SP Golem Busters for 10 bucks. So, I mean, really, if you. It's a, it's not it's pretty easy to counter this deck. Well, this not deck, sorry. With this uh format, you know what I'm saying? Like you can easily. Well, well you gotta remember, this is only a legend deck. It's not like they're um free. They they give you legend deck that is playable. It doesn't mean it's gonna be perfect. Well, I mean, if you have a look at like legend deck, well, the, the red deck that was a really good deck. Like. It had a few things. It still had its faults. It still had That's its faults. That's the only thing. It's not the fault. Like, don't get me wrong, it had its faults, but it's still a really good deck overall. You know? 
And then he had then he had Legend Deck too with all the flame drag and stuff, but there wasn't enough flame drags in the entire deck. No, but I mean it, it wasn't too hard to get flame dragons. You know, they're pretty common to find. Uh, so yeah, I do agree. But this deck, I feel like there's a lot of inconsistencies. Like it's not strong enough to compete with those decks. Uh, yeah. Like you had uh, Ph Phantom Blaster Dragon still. Renowned for being a finisher in Shadow Paladins. Uh, but, uh, Alfred? I don't know. I think, being honest, it just, this deck can match up to the two. Really, it can. It just depends on... It just depends on how it's played, really. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, look, it depends how it play, it's played. I agree. Uh, I just think there's a lot that has to be done if you want to get a, a, a really nice deck out of this. And the way this deck goes, you could probably replace Palamese with the new Alfred. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I think that's what a lot of people are thinking of doing anyways. Because you know, just... all this stuff seems to work with Alfred for Blaster, so you could just replace Palamese with the new Alfred. Absolutely. Or even, uh, is it the Legion Alfred, I think, a lot of people have been talking about? Uh... So, that should be interesting. I heard some people were thinking about that. I saw that on a uh, Facebook group. Or you just, or you, or you just be OG and run the original Alfred. That's it. That's what yeah. you gotta do. That's, that's how you win games. You just run the OG, you're set. Uh, you, you cannot go wrong with the OG. Uh, so yeah, that's it really. Uh, look, the deck, is, it's gonna be fun. But I think after... Blaster Blade Exceed was revealed, a lot of the hype kind of went down. Like, well, don't we have the other two strides to go over? The other two? Oh, well, there's gonna be... We have... We're getting a reprint of Religious Soul Saver. Uh, and... Myriad Soul... Uh, Saver. Myriad's okay. I like Myriad. Uh, you know, you get, get that. It's a good stride. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a fairly good first stride. Yeah. Well, it can be a finisher, and I'll say. It could be. Um, it's, it's basically a uh, platinum bezel. <laughs> Just... Oh, so you could say it's like the original yeah, Soul that's... Saver, but better. But, yeah, it's, it's nicer. Uh, so that five regards of power, that could be really good. But it's it maybe the Soul Blast 3, it's, I mean, you get a bug or you use your 4 or whatever. The set usually, so yeah. Um, so that's it, really. Uh, or do you want to go over Alfred Scott? Yeah, Alfred's like one of the highlights of the whole deck. Yeah. Um, so Alfred Skill is basically just uh, yeah, Persona Flip, uh, Counter Blast One, GB Two, and discard a card from your hand. If you have a heart card, Alfred a Blaster. Choose one of your regards, Blaster Blade in its name. And it's plus 3k, and during the unit's first battle of the turn, gets twin drop. Um, I have to give it that. That's like perfect. That could be almost perfection. It's it's a really strong card. Uh, I think the fact that it allows any blaster blade to perform twin drive, you know, and the, the fact that you, all you're doing is discarding you're discarding one card. Uh, it's sure with a counter blast, um, and I mean, really, you, you get an extra card in hand at the end of the turn. It's like five cards in hand yeah. for the entire turn, not including draws. Oh yeah, and it's a regard as well. So I mean, if you really wanted to, you could put some stand triggers in the deck, maybe, if you, if you're feeling lucky, and you can make it your last attack. So you know, say you have a full like. Front row, you attack with not your non blaster blade, then you attack with your vanguard, and then maybe if you're feeling lucky, you attack with your blaster blade, get a stand trigger, you could possibly stand itself. Uh, you know, stand itself or. But, you, but, you know. Yeah. If blaster blade stands, it doesn't get its twin drive again. That's not too big a deal. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's. I don't know. I, think, I feel like it. It, it's, a, it's a really nice skill. The strides in this deck are pretty solid. I, I have to give it. This, this legend deck has some solid strides. Yeah, but I feel like the, the grade 3 it was uh, disappointing. Grade 3 is disappointing. Some people, 
if you like it, that's like good for you. You guys can like it for you. Yeah. To each their own. Oh yeah, definitely. Don't, look, don't get me wrong, if you have your own opinion, have your own opinion. We're not going to execute you for it. Um, but yeah, it, I think, it, is it safe to say in our opinion, they could have done a better job with the grade 3. They could have done better. Yeah. I would have liked to see something tiny bit better there. Yeah. Uh, but look, that, that's the Legend deck. Uh, it's it, it's going to be exciting when it comes out. Um. I know I'm going to probably buy a Jap and an English one, only for the fact that uh, I want all the, all the good stuff from the Jap one. All them accessories. All them accessories. But yeah, um, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you, JD. Uh, yeah, no worries. And I will be putting JD's YouTube channel in the link below. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later. Bye. Okay, go by the kick, you can't